Okay guys, objective in this tutorial will be to transfer all these images into their variants. For example, black and white, gray scale and negative variants among other options that you have into Irfan view. So we will not use single line of code here, no programming, just Irfan view will get the job done. Just make sure then when you are getting and installing appropriate version here you also get plugins because some of these things will not be able to be done without plugins so definitely install plugins when you're getting gear from view okay so right let's click on cpp tutorials in my case in your case the, that will be something else and if you want to transfer unique image like individual into black and white this is what you need to do right click go to open with Irfan view and then here in image option go to decrease color depth now we do have a bunch of options here but if you are going to transfer it into black and white just click here to two colors if you are very good with colors and if you know what you're doing then you can set custom colors but i'm not into you know images and stuff like that so i'm gonna use this like default option here maybe it will give you useful result maybe not but we can try okay so let's click on ok and this is something as end result now you can process it better or if you're happy you can keep it don't worry if you don't like it because there is a great scale uh, it's not great sorry gray scale variant so ctrl z to go one level back again image and then convert to gray scale and i think it's much better now Okay, control Z to go to default situation. If you want to transfer it into negative image, negative, invert image, all channels or choose appropriate channels and job done. If this works for you, then super cool. And otherwise you need to do stuff in Photoshop and I don't know in similar programs. I'm not into images, so I cannot ad advise you on that. So let's do mass scale change. Okay, so let me open irfan view we need to go to file to batch conversion so it's not open 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 it is batch conversion and renaming right and now i'm gonna click on desktop because this is a place where i have a bunch of images let me blur a little bit okay we are here important thing if you want to grab absolutely everything here to do like a mass processing just make sure that you have couple of backups don't do batch processing if you don't have backups please do have backups okay next thing click on add all and there you go these are our targets then click here in the sidebar on use current looking folder because subfolder will be created uh, where you have original folder and you don't want to like in interchange new images with previous images okay so dedicated folder will be created then here in upper part of sidebar click on batch conversion choose appropriate output format click definitely click on use advanced options for bulk resize and similar stuff click on advanced and if you don't want to crop and if you don't want to resize then let's let just leave these things unchecked but if you want to switch all these images here to black and white click here on change color depth choose two colors and deselect this okay you have a bunch of options here you can read through it through options through through help of different view but for me this thing right here will get the job done okay let's press on ok start batch and job done in five seconds okay that's pretty much it return to batch let's check results here uh, that thing is somewhere down there as a folder let me check and that's it you have black and white variants if this will work for you fine and otherwise i don't know uh, some automatic way how to uh, improve these quality of these images so that that's what it is guys that's what it is so let me check that uh, open with irfan view if this is cool fine if not i don't know okay now what about grayscale variants let me delete this output folder where is that thing right here delete and 
where is Irfan view. Okay, click on advanced, deselect change color depth, we don't need that thing. Click on convert to grayscale. Did I said again great scale? Grayscale, sorry. Okay, start batch, job done, that's it. Okay, return to batch. Let's check our folder and results now are much better. There you go. Okay, so something like this. Right click, open width, earphone view. Nice, I like it. I mean, it's not pure black and white, but it's just cool. It's almost like art. I was thinking about getting myself some analog, you know, photo camera or something like that, but you cannot just get everything in a relatively short period of time. Okay, let me test one more time this thing. Decent, decent stuff. Uh, okay, now what about negative variants? Uh, IMG, let me delete output folder. Okay, earphone view, advanced, and yep, deselect that, select that, negative, okay, start batch, batch, or bulk, or mass, mass changes, return to batch, checking output folder, and bunch of negatives. So what about resizing, if you need it, it is very simple stuff to do. I do have dedicated tutor tutorial on that, but why not? Let's do it again. Where I need to click advanced and I'm gonna deselect this. Also resizing must be clicked and manually I'm gonna set all these resolutions because if you click here on preserve aspect ratio, well, aspect ratio will be preserved. That means you need to select either width or height. You need to experiment basically here. But anyway, I'm gonna roll with manual, let's say resolution, and that's that's pretty much it. So, okay, and where is that thing? Start batch. Job done, return to batch, and now all images will have same size. There you go, same size, let me confirm that, right click, open with different view, press E on keyboard, there is that thing, uh, same resolution, also let's grab something else, let's press E, same resolution, that's confirmed, and something random, like turtle, the dude, green dude, still same resolution. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching as always. This Irfan view is absolutely magnificent piece of code and see you next tutorials.